We are talking about criminals, not peaceful protesters. ISIS wants nothing to do with the Ferguson activists fighting for social justice. The terrorists want people who hate the U.S. government as much as they do. They're reaching them on the social media highways. Ferguson in flames <laughs> was a night of chaos and days of endless heartache. It was also a calling card for terrorists from the other side of the world. We received intelligence reports um, for law enforcement showing actual tweets uh, that ISIS was putting out, encouraging uh, Americans to join the um, people who were burning down buildings in Ferguson uh, to engage in that conduct across America. The tweets all have hashtag Ferguson. Some say, hey blacks, ISIS will save you. Another one says, hashtag Islamic State, hashtag Ferguson, hashtag coming. Here's a tweet that uses Malcolm X to push the ISIS propaganda. ISIS is recruiting Americans every single minute of the day via the internet using their social media techniques. The U.S. attorney in the Southern District of Illinois says the FBI got intelligence through situational reports about ISIS recruiting in Ferguson. Somebody in the crowd was carrying this sign in Ferguson in August saying, ISIS is here. Well, they're trying to reach the individuals that are uh, anti-government to begin with. We have a number of those individuals in the United States, whether they're sovereign citizens, whether they're anarchists. I think all of them showed up at one point or another in the St. Louis area over the last few months. ISIS stands for Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. They've beheaded American and international journalists and AIDS workers. They put those videos on YouTube. We're very concerned about the threat posed by homegrown violent extremists from individuals who live in the same community that they intend to attack. The FBI special agent in charge in Springfield, Illinois says terrorist groups like ISIS are recruiting more Americans. These individuals are difficult for us to detect as they're able to connect with other extremists with relative ease and more capable from an operations standpoint because they are familiar with their intended target areas. It only takes one of them, recruit one of them to do a bad act and now you have the lone wolf and the lone wolf is the one that we fear the most because we cannot uh, predict where that lone wolf is going to strike. Special agent in charge Sean Cox and U.S. Attorney Steve Wigginton say ISIS's recruiting power lies in social media. That's what brought them national and international prominence uh, dis on top of their absolutely horrific brutality. The terrorists can reach from the Middle East into mid-America in the middle of chaos in a second. The FBI special agent in charge says it's hard to know exactly how many people ISIS already recruited here in the U.S. or in Ferguson. Agents are tracking ISIS activists around the world to see who they're tweeting and Facebooking.